That's the motto of life. Just never quit, baby. What's up, everyone? Today is July 7th. I'm here with the one and only Eric Holt. What's up? Today we have the Trials for Miles Night Under the Lights. Eric, what is going on today? Uh, you know, uh, we're going to run a mile. Uh, there's some great competition and, you know, it's, it's going to be a fast one. Any main goals for today? Uh, yeah, we're going to go for a sub-355 mile. Well, when's the last time you raced? It was Trials, right? Yeah, so two weeks ago. Eric ran the 1500 at Trials, got into semifinals, ran a great race against some of the best runners in the world. Great experience, right? Absolutely, and uh, today is going to be a good one. Uh, I am looking for a mile PR, and you know, I, I think it's up 355 in store, so we'll see. We got Zach in here with us today. What's up, Zach? Yes, sir. What's up, boys? Zach's How are you doing? a pretty good runner himself, running at Johns Hopkins next year. You excited for that? Yes, I'm, I'm stoked. I go on August 17th, doing cross country training right now, and looking forward to it. Good stuff. Starbucks. Some pre race snacking. We gotta go to Starbucks. Now we're gonna get a little sandwich at Tops, make sure we got all the energy for the race. Uh, we're getting a turkey sandwich with provolone cheese. You know, good uh, pre-snack, you know, perfect. Quick double check just before we leave. <laughs> just making sure we got shoes. Shoes, uniform. You know, I always overpack, make sure a uh, raincoat and all that. We just arrived at Icon, you know, we got uh, what, like three hours and 45 minutes till I race. You know, now it's time to relax and you know, get focused. Here we are at Icon. Eric is about to check in here for a uh, warm up. All right, so here we are, Icon Stadium. Eric, do you have any uh, good memories from this track in the past? You know, uh, I raced here uh, two times now, and you know, the first time I had probably one of my worst races, and the second time I had one of my best races. So, uh, you know, uh, I have a feeling it's gonna be a good race. So I'm really excited. You know, uh, this is gonna be a fun one. Any specific workouts you did or any training leading up to this race? I know you just had the trial, so you should be in good shape. Anything you've been focused on the last couple weeks? You know, you know, uh, a little bit of, uh, you know, lighter training for sure. Uh, but I did a, a couple speed work, you know, uh, yesterday I did one 200. I ran a 24 seconds, but I would have ran 23, but I slowed down. So I know the speed's there. You know, I know the strength's there. I just got to have a well-executed race. You know, nothing too crazy, and you know, it should go well. Be confident, uh, I'll have a PR. All right, we're starting the warm-up. Ready? Ready? Eric just ran a warm up. Zach ran it with him. How yes. was that? It was good. What was it? What was it? It was three miles at seven minute pace, so nothing crazy, but keeping us ready to run a good mile. He's looking fit. He's looking ready to run. He's loosening up. All right, Eric, I know you're getting into tournament mode. How'd that warm up feel? Yeah, it felt good. Uh, you know, uh, all, you always have like some of those, like, you know, you don't never get 100% uh, okay, but. You know, I'm feeling confident. I just have a job that needs to be done. And gotta go out and get it done, you know? All right. 
Time, time to put on the jersey and get going? Yeah, I like putting on my uniform very early. Just get it out of the way. Sounds good. Oh, Second lap, we have Eric here. They're at 118 right now. Already passed the first 400. Eric is in second place currently. He's gonna get to the final 100 of the second lap. Trying to go sub 350 times. Around 158 after the first 800 for Eric. Still in second place. There he is. Second place still. Looking extremely strong. The pacer done his job, Eric. In first place. The rat, the 355 marker, that was I think a 301. After three laps, one lap to go. Eric's in second. Still in second, looking really strong. One final kick, about 200 meters to go. 340. About to reach the 100 meter mark. Just ran your PR 356. How do you feel? I know the goal is 355, but you had no, a great race. How'd it go? I feel out there? like I just didn't have mojo, but you know, there's one thing I learned is in the world, you just gotta be tough. If you be tough and work hard every single day, good things are gonna happen. And this is like to all the track people out there, even if the guy ahead of you is gonna beat you, just try your hardest and you'll still do well. That's the model of life. Just never quit, baby. Just work hard every day. Got it. All right, we have Eric's teammate. Well, he paced the mile today. How do you yep. feel about Eric's performance? I know he's not happy, but it's a PR. All right, so I joined Empire Lead about four and a half months ago. And the thing I love most about Eric is that he has been consistent throughout that whole time. When he says the words tenacious or inspired or he wants to be great in this sport in the interviews, let me tell you something. That's every day of practice. That's at every meal, that's on every warm up, that's at every rep. This man's non stop. So, to come out and race where we put our, all our chips down, it's good to see him go 356. Best time he's ever run. So, Eric is very driven by his goals and he wants to go sub 355 today. But for this video and for the people listening, that's the best he's ever done, period. And he's only on his way out. It's early in the summer and Eric is transcended this year to a level on the running scene, so he has a long summer ahead, so 356 is perfect for him. All right, here we got Charles CPT. He was the medalist in today's 1500 race with a time of, what was that? 355. 355. I've never, I've All right, how'd you feel today? How was the race? It felt, it felt great. Like, I knew it was kind of slow. Uh, it felt slow first lap, and then we got a confirmation. I think we came through probably 201 for 800. And then from then, I was I just got ready, like told myself stay on your toes, and last five or 400 just like go for it, and uh, that's what I did. With 500 to go, didn't look back, and got the dub. Sounds good. What's next for you? Uh, I'm gonna race uh, Sunset Tour, July 25th, 1500. Uh, I'm looking to run the PD there, so. Uh, I'm in really good shape and I think uh, I'm due for a fast race now. Alright, we're moving forward. Good yeah. work. On to the cool down. 356, 68. Not relatable to most people. 
All right, Eric ran his PR today, 356. He's not totally happy. He wanted it to go sub 355. Uh, how do you feel he did and what's next? Um, well, you know, I think he did okay. It's tough. You know, I don't think it was his best performance. Uh, it's really tough after you come off the high of, of the Olympic trials to race, you know, a week later. You know, it's just, you're so, it's such an emotional high. And then when you come back the next race, you're usually a bit down and just really can't find the same motivation you did at the trials. And it's normal for everyone that to, people to go through that. And that being said, he still ran 3.56 and PR'd by two or three seconds. And, and uh, it was a good race, you know. What's next for Eric? We'll see. I mean, I think uh, we're going to train for a week or two, and then, uh, you know, there's some road miles uh, at the end of the month. There's the Monmouth Mile, which is on the track in August. Um, there's also a meet down in North Carolina, uh, Sir Walter Miler. So, you know, there's going to be a few racing opportunities in the mile, especially, uh, both on the roads and, and on the track. And, uh, you know, we're just going to try to keep on racing through, uh, hopefully, through uh, Fifth Avenue Mile this year. Sounds good. Pulling down with Eric Holt. Gotta finish with him. One lap. All right. The running is over for the day. How was that cool down? Yeah, I feel great. I was a little tired, you know. Today wasn't the, you know, the great, the, the greatest I've ever felt, but you know, I went out there, put in some work, and you know, I got at least two more tries the mile. So I'll get sub 355 this summer. I guarantee you right now. You heard it here, folks. All right, that's a wrap. 1500 Eric Holt, Icon Stadium. It's a beautiful night. The storms stayed away. We got to run a race. Great 1500 race. That's it. What's up? <laughs> post run, post sub four mile, 356. First thing we do. That's all. All right, it's currently 5 a.m. the next day. What does Eric Holt do the day after he runs a 356 something PR in the mile? He gets up and uh, runs some type of workout at 5 a.m. I'm going for the first two miles and then he's ditching me, but this is the type of stuff you might have to do if uh, you really want to be great.